I will be sharing my cancer story with you all. Before I get into this video, I just want to say I'm going to be sharing this story in the most positive way I can. Okay, so when I was five, I remember that my eyes were going really gunky and they looked like they were coming out their eye sockets. My parents kept taking me to my local doctors and they just kept telling me that I had conjunctivitis and I needed antibiotics and eye drops. Until one day, I was looking out the window, waving my father goodbye whilst he was leaving for work and he turned around and he could see that I was looking in the complete opposite direction to where he was. My father headed straight back to the house to take me straight to Exeter Hospital to where we saw an eye doctor. He turned around to my father and said that you have one seriously ill child there and we need to get her down for an MRI scan straight away. My mum told me whilst I was having my MRI scan that she arrived to the hospital with a friend and she saw a little girl who had lost all their hair sat in her wheelchair and she said to her friend that that was going to be her daughter one day. Her friend told her not to be silly but she was right. When I came out of my MRI scan my parents were sadly told that I had a big tumour growing behind my left eye and that there was an ambulance waiting outside to take me straight up to Bristol. When I arrived at French Aid Bristol Hospital, a specialist from London came all the way down to Bristol just to see me, which was nice of him, and also that's where I spent my first night. When the specialist got there, he checked my MRI scan to where he turned around to my parents and said there was a massive tumour growing behind my nasal cavity, and that's where I was transferred to Royal Bristol Children's Hospital. Bristol Children's Hospital is an amazing hospital. They looked after me and my family, and so did Click Sergeant. They supported me and my family through this difficult time. When I was in the hospital, I stayed on Yellow Ward, which is the colour of cheese. And the reason I say that is because it was based on Wallace and Gromit. So because the tumour was so big, they couldn't remove it by an operation because they would have had to literally take off my face to remove it. So instead they shrunk it with chemotherapy and they used radiotherapy to kill it off. As the tumour grew, it wrapped itself around my optical nerve and crushed it, which left me completely blind in my left eye. At one stage, I actually did lose eyesight in both my eyes and the doctors didn't know whether I was going to get my eyesight back at all, but thank God, I got it back in my right eye. It literally started where I could see one colour. I was sat in my playroom at Bristol Children's Hospital and my parents told me I said I could see a colour. So they took me to the eye hospital in Bristol, which was literally around the corner from Bristol Children's Hospital and they did an eye test and they could see that I was gaining eyesight back in my right eye. I had chemo for three days straight and then I had three weeks off for nine months and when I was at home my parents had to keep a close close eye on my temperature because if my temperature got above a certain temperature then I had to be taken straight back to either Exeter or Bristol Hospital. So with the chemo I lost all my hair, lost my obviously my head of hair, my eyebrows and my eyelashes and just all the hair on my body. It also made me violently sick. Um, I didn't want to eat, I just felt sick, I was sick quite a few times um, for the three days but after those three days I felt great for the rest of the time. I was my normal self again. The bright side I am where I am now and I'm still here so After chemo, I started radio, which I had every day for six weeks up in Bristol. So I had to come from where I live to Bristol, which is a good hour and 45 minute drive every day for six weeks. So with radiotherapy, I had to have a mask. So this is the mask they made for my face, or by using my face, should I say. Um, as you can tell, it's got loads of like faded stickers and stuff on it. I would get a sticker from the nurse every time I had a radiotherapy session. Also, it's got some courses on it. 
Can you see that? Um, and I, that's where they would shoot the lasers. And these bits here, where I'm grabbing, they would use these bits to clamp me down onto the bed so I couldn't move my head. I had to stay completely, completely still every radiotherapy session. When I was going through radiotherapy, I lost my taste buds completely. I couldn't taste anything. I even liked really, 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 really spicy stuff, which now I'm not a big lover of anymore. Um, I didn't care that I lost my taste buds at all until I couldn't taste my mum's gravy anymore. That broke my heart. So after I had the all clear, now the reason I do the quote marks is because you don't really have an all clear until a, probably a good year or so afterwards I would say um, just because well you just never know with cancer um, but yeah when I had the all clear um, I still had to have regular MRI scans um, so it would be like one every month then it would go to like every three months then every six months and then one maybe like every year um, up to about nine years old um, <clears throat> and that's when I had my complete all clear I can remember having one MRI scan and they having to start it all over again because you do have to stay completely still on an MRI scan which is hard for a five year old I'm not gonna lie and they started playing Barbie Girl and well you know, I had a bit of a dance to it <laughs> so as you probably understand when I heard this terrible news it affected my whole family my family friends and especially my twin brother um, not just because I was really ill because obviously that took a main part in it but I missed a lot of time off of school and at that age I don't think he truly understand why I kept having time off of school and when I was at school there was a nurse that had to come in at least once a week to give me some type of medication and I just don't think at that age he obviously truly understood what was going on. He did have to go through counselling at five um, just so it didn't affect him in later life um, but I have the best bond with my twin brother now um, and I'm so so glad that I am still here today to share that bond with my twin brother because I could not wish for the, any twin brother any better twin brother at all so I'm not gonna say that's my whole cancer story because to be completely honest with you, I was only five and I've heard most of this from my parents. I can remember some bits and most of it I can't. But I've given you a massive, massive insight to what it was like when I had my cancer. And the main reason I am sharing this story on YouTube so the whole world can see is because I want you to realise that cancer affects everyone in some type of way, whether it's just like literally a pet, a family member, or even yourselves, and that you know, if it's you, then you know, if you want to live, you have to fight, just like I did. And you know, if it's a family member or a pet, just give them the most most support you can, because well, you just don't know what's around the corner. So please, 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 love and support everyone in this world because you do not know what they're going through so just before i end this video i want to give a quick shout out to royal exeter and devon hospital bristol children's hospital and click sergeant for supporting me and my entire family through these hard times and giving me the life i have now so if you have liked listening to my cancer story and you want to join me for the rest of my journey and please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and also click the notification bell so you stay notified when I upload a video. And please head over and follow my Instagram at Lindsay's Journey where I will be posting my day to day life. 
Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday for a new video. Bye!